as a testament, a homage to the work which is being done by President Edim Nagagwa and his economic dream team. This is a big thing. What does it mean? It means that we can borrow money easily, not only from institutions like IFAD, but we can now borrow money from even the private sector, the commercial sector of this world. We are on our way there. But more important, we are attracting investment because our economy is showing positive signs of growth. So if you can reverse your economy from 17 billion in 2018 to 47 billion in 2024, you are doing extremely well as a country. And this is a country which is not being given access to the soft financing or the concessional loans which are coming from other international financial institutions. So we are doing well, and when the minister goes to look for a loan from IFAD for the rural people, we are saying whether it be big money, whether it be small money, as long as it changes the lives of our people in this country, we want it. And this money for rural people of Zimbabwe who want pumps, solar pumps, to do their drip gardens, as has been said by Senator Mfumira, as been, has been said by Senator Zindi, as has been said by uh, my colleague here to the right, uh, the Senator from UMP. This is money which changes people in our rural areas. So we need to support that because it touches on where most of us came from, the rural people. We need to support that loan. So for the naysayers, well, I, you need education. I heard some Latin phrases being mentioned here. Uh, about, you know, sounding very profound about issues. That's very good to, to sound learned. But it's more important to appreciate what President E. D. Nangagwa and his Minister of Finance and his Central Bank have done to make the Zimbabwe economy do well. We are attracting private money into this country, which is risk capital, not loans. When you hear of lithium being exploited in Zimbabwe,